What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Transfer Rumour. Today we've got episode 11 and we have got loads of confirmed and potential uh, slash rumoured transfers to go through today. I've got quite a lot of, I believe I've got 11 players so it should be fun going through them all. Make sure to tell me in the comment section down below which of these deals do you think will actually happen um, and which of these deals do you think are just garbage. We'll go into the first one as Andre Gomez, of course currently at Valencia. He could be going to Barcelona or Real Madrid. Um, it's one of those two teams, 54 million is the price tag, which is a lot of money. 54 million pounds, 65 million euros. I don't know if either of them will want to pay that much for a guy that's maybe not experienced enough. He's maybe not um, kind of um, good enough to be worth that kind of price tag. I'm going to give it a room rating of 5. It could go either way, either way this one. If he does move, I think it will be to a big club probably like um, the likes of Real Madrid, Chelsea, Barcelona. I can't see him going to a team that's kind of the same level as Valencia, so I think he will go for a lot um, of money if it is in that case, because of course Valencia are going to let him go to a big club without getting a lot out of him. I'm going to also give it a transfer rate of 9, as it would be a very, very good signing. But then going to a really strange one, Jason Denier to Arsenal has been linked. Apparently Pep Guardiola has not got him in his plans, obviously uh, he doesn't fit into Guardiola's style. I'm disappointed, I want to see him this season. I think Guardiola will bring through youngsters at City like Adaraba Yoyo um, and Humphreys in defence, so I'm looking forward to that, I suppose, on the other hand. Um, but 10 plus million is the price. Will Arsenal pay that for a guy that's maybe not too experienced? He's maybe not too proven either. Um, it'll be interesting to see him. I'm only going to give a room rating of 4. I just can't see him leaving Man City yet. I think it's too early to even talk about him leaving Man City. But... I suppose you never know. I'm going to give it a transfer rating of 7 as well. I think it'll be an okay signing, but they've already got Bellerin at right back, so I'm guessing they're going to use him as a kind of centre-back replacement for maybe Koscielny. But he's not like he's not as experienced as Koscielny, so we'll just have to see how that one plays out. Then going to um, Jeremy Mathieu, of course, of Barcelona. This is also a very strange one. He looks as if he could be on his way to Liverpool. A price hasn't been thrown about yet. I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 4, I think. It's part nonsense, part proof. Um, of course, when you think about it in hindsight, Umtiti's just joined. They don't probably need Mathieu anymore. They might let him go. Will Liverpool buy him? No, I'm not too sure. I'm going to give it a transfer rating of 9. I think um, it would be a great signing, of course, if they could pull it off. We then go into Lazio. You like Lazic? I'm going to call him He has joined Torino for £8.5 million. This was confirmed today um, with a picture of him signing the contract and stuff like that. So... I think this is actually quite a decent transfer for Torino. They've bought a Roma player for 8.5 million. I'm going to give it a room rating of 10, of course, because it has been confirmed. And a transfer rating of 8. I think this is a decent deal. What I've seen of him, um, and like I think he's been in the Europa League, Champions League, stuff like that. He's actually been a pretty decent talent. And it'll be a good player for uh, Torino to use next season. We're then going to Diego Lopez, of course, of AC Milan. He has been linked to Chelsea um, for an undisclosed price or a price that hasn't really been confirmed yet or uh, thrown about the fee hasn't even been mentioned to be honest it may even be in a free deal he's sold um, but he is genuinely old I think this will probably be a replacement for Begovic Begovic I think wants to leave he wants some more um, kind of first team football I'm going to get a rubber rating of 7 I think it, it's likely to happen I'm not going to put it any higher just because it's came out in the last couple of days but if it does happen it'd be a very very strange transfer um, it would be good for them. I don't know how much game time he'd actually get, so I don't know if he'd want to leave at the end of his career. He might as well get some game time while he can. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I'm also going to give it a chance rate of 7, as he would be a good backup goalkeeper. We then go into Fabinho of Manchester United, or I probably shouldn't get ahead of myself, possibly soon Manchester United. He's currently at Monaco, and £25 million is quite a lot of money to spend on a fullback. They do like spending a lot, to be fair. They spent, uh, was it, £29, £30 million on Lot Shaw. If they spend £25 million on this guy, that's £54, £55 million they spent on their two fullbacks. Like, that's a lot, and they're not, like, world, world-class fullbacks either. So, it'll be interesting to see if they do actually want to get this one. Mourinho apparently wants them, so it looks as if it could happen. I'm going to give a room rating of 6. I think... It's, it's, it, I think he will move from Monaco. I don't know if uh, Man United will want to be the 25 million. Well, that's the only thing I'm thinking of. But then again, they're about to spend 105 million on Paul Pogba. They'll spend any amount of money to get the players they want. And also, a transfer rating of 10, I think it'll be a very good deal. But then going to Ego, Falke, of course, as well, moved from Roma to Torino. This time, though, it was only on a loan deal, luckily for Roma, because if not, they'd be letting go of all the players to Torino. Um, the rumour rating, of course, 10 has been confirmed with the contract signing and stuff like that as well. 
Did they sign contracts with Norman? I don't know. But um, there was pictures and stuff like that. And also a transfer rating of eight guys as I think it'd be a decent a decent sign. I think him and Lajic uh, know each other and they'll work well together. But then of Ginter, another player linked to Arsenal, another right back linked to Arsenal who can also play at centre back um, from Borussia Dortmund. The same price. It's ten plus million. It was linked that both of them were there for ten plus million each. I think this would be an incredible deal if they could pull this off. He's been very, very good for Dortmund um, this season and last season. And um, he's a very good player. What I've seen of him, he's a very good player. So it'll be good to see if um, he does join the Premier League. If he does, I'll be very, very excited to see how he does. Um, because there's not that many Germans, when you think about it, they come over to the Premier League and play. So it'll be good to see him. Of course, Ozil has, except he came from, um, of course, Real Madrid. We've had Merisacker, but there's not really been much more will shade as well but it'll be interesting to see if more Germans come over during uh, the next coming years. We then get Good Munson of currently Charlton at least if he's about to join Burnley for £2.5 million. Pounds. Apparently he's very good I believe in the championship of Charlton in last year um, and he got one crazy inform, got a plus four in his inform card. I've not seen much about him, I'm not going to lie, don't really know much about him but what I've heard from Burnley fans, he's a good player but then again they are going to be quite biased when they're about to buy a player but they are very excited about getting possibly this guy um, so he must be pretty good. I'm going to give a room rating of nine, it looks as if it's all but done, um, just about to be completed in the next couple of days and also a transfer rating of eight I think. He will do well at Burnley, he won't do like sensationally, amazingly good, but he will do, I think he will do very, very well and help the club maybe stop getting relegated next season. Well, then you have William Carvalho, of course, was at Sporting last year, is about to apparently join Everton for £30 million if Everton don't say, uh, sign Axel Witzel. If Everton don't sign Axel Witzel, it looks as if William Carvalho could come for £30 million. Pounds. I think this would be quite a good deal actually, I think if he joined Everton they would strengthen the midfield completely, they'd have a great chance um, of getting to that top 6 next season, I know you might think top 6, whoa whoa whoa, but if they can get players like Axel Witzel um, and Carvalho to come to the squad, and Boney possibly as well, they've got a very good chance of getting some points on the board and ending quite high up, I mean, we saw Leicester last season out of nowhere, why can't Everton do the same with more money? Rumour rating of 5, it could go either way. The transfer rating of 10 would be a very, very good transfer. We're then going to go into the last um, transfer of today. This isn't really a transfer. It's kind of um, to tell you guys that Antonio Conte has admitted that, or he has told um, people that he does want Kudrado at the club next year. He's not going to loan him out. Of course, he was at Juventus last season. He was at loan from Chelsea to Juventus, though. Um, when I see previous club, it was the club he was playing at last season. Which was Juventus. Of course, he's back to Chelsea because the loan is over. Um, price? There isn't a price because he was in loan. Uh, rumour rating of 9. I think this is probably guaranteed to happen now. I think he will stay with Antonio Conte. Antonio Conte looks as if he likes him and it looks as if he suits his play. And also a transfer rating of 9. I think it's a good deal for Chelsea. He's a very good player. What does this mean for players like Will, you know? If, if um, Antonio Conte is going to play 5 at the back... They're going to play Quadrado probably right wing back. What's going to happen to William? Where's he going to play? There's not really another position for him unless they want to play him in the midfield, which I don't think will work too well. So it'll be interesting to see what they do um, towards players like William and uh, Hazard and things like that. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, make sure to smash the like button. This will be uploaded at 11.30am, um, Great British time, every day, guys. So make sure to go check it out. Leave a like in the video if you have enjoyed it as well. 15 likes have been insane, guys. Subscribe, guys, as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.